rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice. And again I say rejoice, rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice, rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Dear brothers and sisters, the Franciscan Fathers in the offer this Mass, for the following intentions and for the repose of the soul of Pamela David and for the soul of Edward Chandra Babu offered by family members also for the soul of Edward Chandra Babu offered by SOJ and family and for the souls of Mr. Casey Joseph and Mrs. Amini Joseph on their 60th wedding anniversary offered by John and family and as Thanksgiving Mass on the birthday of Maria Gerardine Lavania, also on the birthday of Livia Rachels, and for the blessings of Judy and family offered by parents, and also this Thanksgiving Mass offered by Leonard Vincent and family. Let us begin this celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. As we partake in this celebration in a worthy manner, let us ask the Lord for pardon and strength for all our failures and shortcomings. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, whose providence never fails in its design, Keep from us, we humbly beseech you, all that might harm us, and grant all that works for our good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. First reading, a reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who is to judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing and his kingdom, preach the word, be urgent in season and out of season, convince, rebuke, and exhort, be unfailing in patience and in teaching. For the time is coming when people will not endure sound teaching. But having itching ears, they will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own likings and will turn away from listening to, the, listening to the truth and wander into myths. As for you, always be steady, end your suffering, do the work of an evangelist, fulfill your mystery. For I am already on the point of being sacrificed. The time of my departure has come. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, 
there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day. And not only to me, but also to all who have loved his appearing. The word of God. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Your response. My lips will tell of your justice. My, My lips will, will tell, tell of your, your justice. justice. My lips are filled with your praise, with your glory all the day long. Do not reject me now that I am old. When my strength fails, do not forsake me. Your response? My, my lips will tell of your justice. But as for me, I will always hope and praise you more and more. My lips will tell of your justice and day by day of your help. Your response? My, my lips will tell of your justice. I will declare the Lord's mighty deeds, proclaiming your justice. Yours alone, O God, you have taught me for my youth, and, my, and I proclaim your wonders still. Your response? My lips will tell of your justice. So I will give you thanks on the lyre for your faithful love. My God, to you will I sing with the harp to you, the Holy One of Israel. Your response? My lips will tell of your justice. Mountains may depart and the hills be removed, but my steadfast love shall not depart from you. Though the mountains may depart and the hills be removed, but my steadfast love shall not depart from you. For a brief moment I forsook you, but with great compassion I will gather you. For a brief moment I forsake you, but with great compassion I will gather you. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 12, verses 38 to 44. In his teaching, Jesus said, Beware of the scribes who like to go about in long robes and to have salutations in the marketplaces, in the best seats in the synagogues and the places of honor at feasts who devour widows' houses and for a pretense make long prayers. They will receive the greater condemnation. And as he sat down opposite the treasury and watched the multitude putting money into the treasury, many rich people put in large sums and a poor widow came up and put in two copper coins, which make a penny. And he called his disciples to him, and he said to them, Truly I say to you, this poor widow has put in more than all those who are contributing to the treasury. But they all contributed out of their abundance. But she, out of her poverty, has put in everything she had her whole living. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Tonight. 
Winston Churchill says, we make a living by what we get and we make a life by what we give. Brothers and sisters, the readings of the day invite us to reflect about our treasure in the treasury. What is our treasure in order to put in in the treasury of God? And therefore, we have today a beautiful parable happening or taking place in the gospel. The gospel text gives us a poor widow who is a model of two important things for our Christian journey. One is to have complete confidence or trust in God. Secondly, generosity in spite of her poverty. Complete confidence, a complete trust in the Lord. She gives what it means to be fully trust in God. That means she had given to God everything what she had. She teaches, she is teaching us a lesson not to worry about tomorrow, not to worry about later what is going to happen, but today, now and here, here itself, we need to completely depend on God for our sustenance. And she gives what it means to understand full realization of total dependence on God alone, not anything else. And here once again she gives meaning of trust is something that whole of our life and living is completely based on God himself. And secondly, she gives also what it means to be generosity in spite of her poverty. And her fear was not to hold or own nothing, not to hold anything for her life, but also to give generously in spirit to God. And today's world, if you see, we are worried and tensed, a lot of anxious anxiety is there when we have, when we hold and own many things. And we are afraid to protect those many things. But this woman, a widow in the gospel, she is not afraid to own nothing because she has given everything generously to God himself. Therefore, there is a book written by Khalil Gibran, so-called the prophet. He writes in that book, you give but little out of your generosity, out of your uh, possessions. But it is when you give of your whole self, it is the real giving of yourself. Brothers and sisters, if you see in today's world that we come across people giving, generously giving, but the more important lesson that we need to learn is how do we give. It's not that how much we give, but how do we give. And looking at the parable of the gospel of the day, Jesus watches two important people. One is the scribes, who so-called rich people, or the people who are putting in money, and he says about the other woman, widow, putting two copper coins in the treasury. Both are placing their treasures in the treasury. But there is a difference that Jesus judges over this, seeing the people of scribes, or the scribes are called mean-minded people. In other words, self-conceited attitude versus Jesus telling once again, giving whole of ourselves to God alone. And at, moment, at times we have so-called, like scribes and the Pharisees, the pious people, spiritual hypocrisy. We give, but we hold on or own for ourselves many things. And this does not judge all those people who give generously, not holding for their own self, but how the attitude of giving to God himself. And here, Jesus teaches from this parable one simple, important lesson for us, brothers and sisters. Do 
even little things with great love and that's what in the life of saint teresa of lisieux if you see simple saint in ordinary saint she gives whole of herself her, her so called her vocation so to call love whole of her life if you read brothers and sisters she was called to be to give that love to all little things in her favorite proverb book of proverbs proverbs chapter 9 verse 4 there she takes about that quotation for our life whoever welcomes a little one and welcomes the other and she takes that for our life and life journey and today she is a great saint not because she has done extraordinary things but her vocation was to love to show love to god and to the other and also we have mother teresa a beautiful saint a mother who says do little things in extraordinary way out of love therefore brothers and sisters when we partake in this celebration in a worthy manner we need to ask ourselves what is our treasure to give to god uh, put in in the treasury of god's kingdom and today third day of our novena to saint anthony and we have that beautiful saint a saint who is given a uh, importance given to the patron for lost things a patron who restores things that are lost or being lost and we know the traditional story of a miracle of saint anthony when he was teaching for his brothers in the monastery franciscan monastery and the the favorite book that he had was the book of psalms while he was teaching his brothers one day he found that got lost and he began to pray and full trust in god he began to pray at that moment finally asking the lord to get back that book saint anthony himself was praying and it so happened at that moment traditional story that moment the brother was leaving the franciscan monastery and with his book book of psalms and saint anthony one side placing his complete trust in god was praying for the conversion of the brother and also to get back his book of psalms and finally it so happened that the apparition of saint anthony to this brother of the seminary and immediately while saint anthony was praying one side placing his trust in god and this brother returned and gave the book to saint anthony and also brother asked for a forgiveness and saint anthony's attitude was something tremendous he forgave the brother and also expect or accepted him into the monastery brothers and sisters saint anthony is not only patron of the lost things also patron of lost souls and today's world is after this great saint saint anthony mainly for the losing things for the lost things we pray to him we invoke his intercession to get back all those lost things but also he is the saint a patron for the lost souls and this brother when he came back to the seminary and he accepted him when he forgave accepted his faith renewed his faith through his forgiveness therefore brothers and sisters as we have this novena to saint anthony let us also remember that we need to pray to saint anthony or invoke his intercession not only for the lost things also for the lost souls souls that are abandoned souls that require the great love of god the souls that require trust in god and also the great attitude towards god himself and last the lord for the grace to the intercession of saint anthony amen novena to saint anthony let us pray to god our creator the source and author of all holiness who has given us salvation in christ lord, lord hear our prayer as, as we honor you in saint anthony guide our world leaders to seek the way of peace and assist our brothers and sisters who are oppressed 
Lord, hear our prayer as we honor you in St. Anthony. Look with kindness on those who have not had the gospel shown to them or who have lost their way. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer as we honor you in St. Anthony. Anthony. Help those who are poor, who have no food or homes, who seek work. Lord, Lord hear our prayer as we honor you in St. Anthony. Anthony. Heal the sick and depressed. Let the lonely know the comfort of your love. Assist all in need of your mercy. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer as we honor you in St. Anthony. Anthony. Grant that our sisters and brothers who have died and now rest in peace may share in your eternal life. Comfort us who remain in this life and who mourn their passing. Lord, hear our prayer as we honor you in St. Anthony. Anthony. Tired of chasing pretty rainbows. I get tired of spinning round and round. Wrap up all the shattered dreams of your life. And at the feet of Jesus, lay them down. Give them all, give them all, give them all to Jesus. Shattered dreams, wounded hearts, and broken toys. Give them all, give them all, give them all to Jesus. And He will turn your sorrows into joy. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and, and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith say was savior of the Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you are held as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope and george antony sami archbishop all the religious and the clergy and all those who are celebrating their birthdays for whom we offer this mass remember also brothers and sisters and all those who have gone before us and all those souls offered for this mass and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed saint joseph her spouse and all the saints anthony francis sebastian we have done your will throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs eternal life and may praise and glory for you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen, amen. at the savior's command and form by divine teaching let us dare to say our, our father, father who art in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name thy, thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil and graciously grant us peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ you sit your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins lord but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen 
The peace of the Lord be with you always and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins, sins of the world. The world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you more than anything in this world, and I hunger to receive you sacramentally, but since I cannot receive communion at this moment, feed my soul at least spiritually. I unite myself wholly to you now, as I do when I actually receive you in Holy Communion. Never let me drift away from you. Amen. Amen. Holy Saint Anthony, you are the consolation of so many people. We come to invoke your help, confident of experiencing your goodness and power. Pray for us to Father of mercies, that we may obtain the graces we need for ourselves and for our loved ones. True follower of Saint Francis, put into our hearts the flame of your love that we may love our merciful Father in heaven and our neighbors as ourselves. Pray that we may fulfill the will of God and live the way Jesus shows us in the Gospels. Be a guide for us this day, that we may recognize the opportunities God gives us to be helping and caring. Assist us in keeping the promises we made at our baptism. Help us to obtain the grace to walk in the light of faith and to proclaim that faith by the way we live. Amen. Amen. St. Anthony, Light of the Church, Lover of God's Law and Doctor of the Gospel. Pray for us to the Son of God. Let us pray to the Father in the words that Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against you. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world, world without, without end. end. Amen. Let us pray. We thank you, Father, for giving us St. Anthony, who lived the gospel life so faithfully. Through his intercession, we may the good news of Christ inspire us to build up your kingdom and make the world a more fitting place for all to live. With St. Anthony, we praise and bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, forever Amen. and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Governed by your Spirit, we pray, O Lord, those you feed with the body and blood of your Son, that professing you not just in word or in speech, but also in works and in truth, grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Mama Mary, help me be open. Let the light shine through me. Mama Mary, teach me obedience. Make me transparent like you. Behold the handmaid of God. May all your heralds come true. Alone I am sad, forever blessing is me. Mama Mary, help me be open to let the light shine through me. Mama Mary, teach me obedience. Make me transparent like you. O sacrament, most holy, O sacrament, divine. as we recite Psalm 91. You who live in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. 
he will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, or the arrow that flies by day, or the pestilence that stalks in darkness, or the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your refuge, the Most High your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, no scourge come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Those who love me I will deliver. I will protect those who know my name. When they call to me, I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue them and honor them. With long life, I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and ever, ever shall be, world, world without, without end. end. Amen. Mary, our mother, pray, pray for, for us. Saint Anthony, pray, pray for us. Saint Sebastian, our patron, pray, pray for, for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.